One of the many great enhancements for SOLIDWORKS 2009 and a real time saver is creating a bill of materials right here in the assembly and not having to make a drawing first. Tables can be formatted and placed in the assembly as if it were a drawing and printed or saved as a number of different formats such as Excel, DWG or PDF. Or if you prefer, the table can be displayed in its own window. These tables can be edited independently from the assembly, so cross-highlighting ensures you can keep track of which part is which. As with a normal bill of materials, custom properties can be edited directly within the table. You're then given the option whether to overwrite the custom properties in the part or just overwrite the value in the table. Whichever option you choose, you can always reverse that decision at a later time. Since this table is in the assembly, any changes are dynamically updated. For example, if we edit this Perspex shield on the grinder and modify the dimensions using Instant 3D, you'll see that the values in the table update automatically. The order and structure of these tables can be controlled independently from the assembly. Components spread across multiple sub-assemblies can easily be rolled up into one line item. And parts may be reordered and even restructured in the table so the bill of materials can be totally customised to your requirements. And since there's no limit to the number of bill of materials you can create, different information can be created for different purposes. Tables displayed on screen also come through into eDrawings, so this information can be shared easily. Notice also that eDrawings has been improved to include the real view graphics effects that we enjoy in SOLIDWORKS for a more realistic and enjoyable user experience. Now when creating a bill of materials in the drawing, you have the option to create a brand new bill of materials or to copy an existing one from the main assembly so all the edits made to the table during the assembly design are preserved. Without doubt, the new bill of materials capability in assemblies will save a massive amount of time, particularly when the bill of materials is central to the design of the product. Assembly features in SOLIDWORKS 2009 deliver another great time-saving enhancement. A slot which appears in multiple components in the assembly needs to be created in this part so that it can be seen in the drawing. Let's go back to the assembly, switch the display state just to show a handful of parts, and create an assembly cut. The cut needs to go through all the components, but now a new button here allows us to propagate that feature into all the parts. We'll select the parts it needs to go in and the feature is created in those parts automatically. The drawing is up to date and the possibility of errors is greatly reduced. SOLIDWORKS 2009 enables us to focus on the design, not CAD.